Happy Friday. I'm sorry that I kind of ditched out for the last couple of days. It's been a rough couple of days. Um, we had a windstorm hit us and we had um, just snow and freezing rain and it's been really blah. My internet went down or so I thought <laughs> and then I realized I didn't pay the bill. So I went and I paid the bill. <laughs> and uh, well... We, uh, with no internet, there was no music, there was no step counter, there was no nothing. It was so boring and unmotivational. Anyways, I'm back. <laughs> so, and I'm chilling with my little girl. Say good morning. <laughs> or good morning, good afternoon at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's morning for us because we slept in a little bit late. Because to top it all off, last night I made some beautiful Greek food and... My kids are used to um, having lemonade and stuff like that, um, but I'm not. And I put just a little bit too much lemon in my tzatziki sauce. And last night was nothing but stomach cramps and, um, well, tossing my cookies. <laughs> so I'm still feeling kind of empty today, but I'm moving on with it. Life does not stop for mom. Um, like I said, I'm feeling a little bit empty. I think it had a little bit to do with the dill, too. I've been known to maybe have a little bit of an allergy towards dill, which in little amounts I can handle it, but I put just a little bit too much dill in there last night as well, and oh my God, did I pay for it. Anyways, <laughs> but, okay, so I'm on to today, <laughs> and uh, we are just about to, well, support locally. I'm going to go into my secondhand store and see if I can find some baking sheets and what other cookware that I can find because I want to make a good dinner tonight that's not going to make me wretch. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll get on to that. So because the stores aren't open, obviously, other than curbside and nobody's got time for that. I don't have time for that. I am in my town second hand store and I'm looking for cooking sheets and stuff like that so let's see if I can find some oh I think I did there we go I found what I wanted and now let's see <laughs> including my daughter <laughs> she's somewhere underneath all of that and now I'm gonna see what I can find what I want <laughs> oh p.s. pardon my hair today like I said it's just following suit with my last couple of days <laughs> They've got a Weight Watchers scale for five bucks. You think I should get it? <laughs> if you see a snazzy new scale on my next way in, you know what happened. <laughs> okay, I found myself a baking sheet, a couple of bread pans, and a really nice set of bowls. And I am a sucker for bowls, okay? You can never have too many bowls. So, yeah, and I'm supporting Cozy. It's in Toulon, and it's local. For anybody that's around here, make sure that you come check her out. Okay, that was a really nice find. Uh, like I said, I'm a sucker for bowls, and I normally have one pink bowl that gets washed over and over, but me personally, I believe that cookware like that is, uh, let me get in the truck, <laughs> um, is actually blessed when they make so many meals, and they stay intact, actually. <laughs> so, yeah, now we're going to go grab some groceries, and we're going to head back. I still don't know what I want to make for dinner. Um... I'm completely uninspired by food today after last night's episode, but we'll find out. I'll figure something out. Okay, what to have for dinner? What to have for dinner, Ms. Doll? What do you want? I don't know. <laughs> I, don't know. I love that when, when kids say that, right? They expect us to have all the answers when it comes to this. I don't know. I'm thinking of making lasagna. Um, lasagna sounds good. Lasagna or black bean burgers. Should we do black bean burgers instead? Or... Which one, lasagna or, or burgers? Wait, what? Burgers. Uh, okay, I am going to make some non-meat burgers tonight for dinner. Um, we make ours uh, from scratch. I know that they, you can get them in the stores and they taste pretty yummy these days, I've heard. Um, just because I know how, I'm gonna do it from scratch that, and I don't wanna drive into the city. That's like an hour and a half that I just don't wanna to do today. So, <laughs> okay, let's get on it. 
Okay, so we're done our grocery haul and our in-town haul. <laughs> and now we're gonna go ahead back home and we're gonna make black bean burgers. I want to get on the horses today, but you know what? My stomach is not going to allow for that today. <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. I got tomorrow, I got 30 days, 39 days, 38 days now actually, um, until I have to go back to the track. So that means, just hold on. So that means that I have to make sure that for the next 30 days, starting February the 1st, that Soldier and I, as much work as we've been doing with one another, that he's gonna get 30 days of hard training so that when we go back to the track, he's gonna be bomb proof because I don't want to have a horse skipping all over the track. That looks um, a little unprofessional. <laughs> so yeah, um, that's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, well, while I'm driving home, <laughs> I did have a little bit of an overeat last, well, not an overeat, but overeat if I would have kept my calories before I rest. Um, <laughs> and I had like four cups of popcorn last night, and oh my God, I'm ever feeling it today. It's not the fat or the calories that I'm concerned about that so much, uh, because it was still within my range, but the salt content, and the water weight that I'm experiencing today is unreal. Why the hell did I ever eat anything processed is beyond me. Because this is what I feel like every single bloody time. So I should learn better, but I'm stubborn, so. <laughs> Look what I have to put up with. <laughs> She's eating bloody brownies in front of me. Do you know how demotivational that is? <laughs> Not fair, where'd they go? She's hiding them. She's hiding them. Yay, we're home. Thank God. Less and less I like going out into the public. <laughs> I guess that's kind of antisocial of me. Yeah, there we go. Homeward bound, thank God. So much snow. I have neglected my driveway. And zero Fs given, to be totally honest, at this point. <laughs> oh, there's soldiers speaking of the devil. Get me Daisy. Yeah, look, it's just so gray out. I will save the training till the first of the month and hope that the weather agrees with me because either or I'm going out. Oh, and there's a fire there. That's nice. That Don't worry, that's our garbage pile. <laughs> okay, finally back home again. I got the kids unloading the, the uh, groceries. So let's get to a pressing matter of my challenges for this week. Derek, here's my steps and here's my way in for the week. Morning, Derek. Here's my lay-in for Friday. That being said, I did have to take a couple of days off this week. One day was a rest day. And then the other one was me falling off the wagon just a little bit. I was lazy and I just didn't want to. And I convinced myself into it and the guilt that I felt the next day. So don't do that. But I mean, that's my body telling me that I need sleep. And I know it. But I mean, I'm working around here, okay? Mommy, don't stop. So I'm going to... I will find a way to cope with that, but at this point, that's what happened. It happened. I have to go on with it. So sorry that I missed out one day. Sorry, Team Heartless, but I will do better this week. I promise. <laughs> so my dears, I have a bit of a dilemma. <laughs> and before I make dinner, I am going to talk about this. Um, since October the 29th, okay of last year uh three months one week i have been craving a piece of cheesecake i tried making cheesecake at christmas time it flopped quite literally um, <laughs> and i haven't been able to stop thinking about it since how sad is that that i'm thinking about a bloody piece of cheesecake for the last 11 weeks okay and i have been holding my restraint but <sighs> There's that butt word. I hate that butt word because that means it erases everything that I just said before then, even though it's not. I need that piece of cheesecake. So here is my diet tip for the day. <laughs> if you're craving something and you 
can't stop thinking about it like you it's an obsession already okay just have the bloody piece of cheesecake that's what I'm going to do uh, that's what I believe is the correct thing to do um, because what I find that I'm trying to do right now um, is trying to get a surrogate for my piece of cheesecake and nothing else is working okay I'm trying creamy I'm trying sweet but I'm trying to do it healthy it needs it I know I have a problem with this <laughs> anyways um yeah so I got a cheesecake while I was at the grocery store I'm going to have one piece this evening I did not get to um be indulgent I'll put it that way during Christmas Halloween New Year's none of it but tonight I am having my cake and eating it too okay I know I know it's my choice I know that I can put it in my body what I want and I know that I'm the one that has to suffer the consequences of my actions right so I'm kind of pissed at myself that I can't get shake this craving it's just killing me already but yeah, in cases like that, just have the bloody piece of cheesecake already and get it over and done with. I promise it will be one cake. I've already um, enlisted my children. Uh, the two that do like cheesecake are going to be helping me out. Uh, Claremont, whether he likes it or not, will be helping me out. <laughs> my other two, they don't like cheesecake, so I'm SOL for that. And one of them is Dom, so I guess that's for the best for him with his diabetes. So, <laughs> I've got a game plan. I will have one piece okay if I don't have one if I have more than one piece then I will be off here for a week okay so expect to see me on Monday okay <laughs> but on a side note that's what a diet is it's a bitch and it's also give and take <laughs> I didn't mean to say the B word but it really is <laughs> um yeah, I, my feelings on it are that I feel a bit deflated by myself, but I'll get over it. Um, I really have not been able to shake this. I'm not going to make another cheesecake because I am not waiting six hours to be disappointed in it again, okay? So I found something hopefully comparable, and it'll get rid of that craving, and I can go on with my life already <laughs> because that is literally my kryptonite. That is horrible. I can literally walk away from anything else. I've had what? I brought in blueberry strudel this week. I had uh, chocolate glazed cake donuts here. Um, I had gotten some cinnamon buns um, and the like, all for my children and for Claremont. Um, I did not touch, and I was very proud of myself that I didn't touch a single part of it, but I cannot shake this, like I said, so just give in, bend, but this is a one time thing okay that I'm and you're like how convenient on cheesecake that I'm bending right but I've bent on a lot of things over the last three months and one week I have to and, and on the healthy side I have to give into this one tonight forgive me but I will work hard and I will definitely be on my air glider tonight I don't care if I have to put a bucket beside the air glider it's going down Okay, I'm all set up to make some black bean burgers, so here we go. I have here is two, uh, I believe it's 540 milliliter cans of black beans here. You're going to see what I do with them. I'm going to put a nice white onion and red pepper in there, nice and sweet. And then I'm going to spice it down with some cracked pepper, some garlic salt. You can use garlic powder too uh, if you're not big on the salt thing. I shouldn't be, but... I do it because, well, I'm making a family recipe and I know that my kids want some flavor too. So, and this is just browning. Ooh, oops. And you can uh, use beef bouillon. You can use um, a whole bunch. This is a very flexible kind of recipe. Uh, some smoking, some hickory can go in there too. I didn't bring that today, but I would do that uh, during the summer. It's great. And I'm going to add some Mrs. Dash. Uh, just for the extra herbs and spices in it. Then we're going to put a little bit of breadcrumbs in there and a couple of eggs to make everything solid. So I'm going to get mixing all of this together. I'll show you how now. Okay, so I'm going to 
I rinse those guys out, obviously rinse your beans beforehand. And then what I'm doing is I'm squishing them with the potato masher. Okay, so instead of the potato masher, I just resort to squishing it with my hands. Don't worry, my hands are clean. <laughs> so this is eventually what you're gonna get. See that most of them are crushed, but there's the occasional one that's still there, that's fine. But that's what it's gonna look like. It's gonna look like a paste by the end of it. Yeah, I know it looks gross, but wait till it's all done, okay? <laughs> Bear with me. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I took two eggs and I took one cup of breadcrumbs. And, oh, shoot. There we go. Keep it in the bowl, Erica. <laughs> but I'm going to just squish all these guys together. And now, once it's done, I will be right back with you. Okay, so quickly... This is what it's going to look like now after you smushed all the breadcrumbs and the egg together. And there it's made a really nice, it's like there's some bulk to it now, right? And now I'm going to put that little bit of Mrs. Dash in there. I'm going to put a couple of capfuls, which is basically to equals a couple of tablespoons of the browning in there. Because I'm doing a double recipe just because I've got so many children to feed. <laughs> And I'm going to put a light spray of garlic salt in there. And we're going to get some fresh ground pepper in there. Okay, that should be good enough. And this is the sweet bell pepper that I previously had whole. It's finely minced, very nice and light. The entire thing goes in there and then you can finally mince this as well the onion as well but I'm choosing to use a shredder just because my kids aren't big fans on shredder so just a tiny little shredder and then you go for it so I'll be right back as soon as I'm done with shredding this onion so I'm mushing everything together I did graduate from the smaller grater to this one just because I don't got time to do that. So the kids are gonna have to suck it up a little bit. But yeah, there you go. There is the dough, or the dough. <laughs> the, uh, the ground round is the way that my, my hubby puts it in there. And then we are going to form it into patties and bake it. Okay, so that's all done. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take one, I've cleaned my hands obviously since, and you're going to put form it into a patty and then you're just going to put it like that okay so i'll be right back when i get that entire thing or this taken care of and then we'll put it in the oven okay and there's the finished product this made well nine and a half there's a mallet size burger for him because try telling him that these aren't actual burgers but anyways <laughs> and then there's nine nice ones the good news is that i'll have leftovers because everybody's just having one except for claremont will probably have two but if you look the texture is nice there's some nice veggies in there the onions spices and i put them on these baking sheets um because i could put oil on the bottom of the pan a little bit of it so that um i just don't want it to stick but I'm looking to go to be low fat, so it's staying just the way that it is. And we can make it really good after it's done. I'll show you what I'm going to do with these guys. So I'm going to pop these guys in the oven for about half an hour, and they'll be good to go. There's one side note, about 15 minutes in, I personally am going to use some hickory barbecue sauce and put them on the burgers and let them bake the rest of the way through. Uh, you can use any barbecue sauce that you want. I normally make homemade, but I cheaped out tonight and I got some from the store. Shame on the preservatives, but the flavor is going to be there. So I will show you what it looks like when it's all done. Okay, just on a side note, before I stick them back in the oven, these guys are the ones that I just took out of the oven and they're baked parsley right now. And sorry about the sauce there. I already flipped them. But there is what they look like with the sauce on. Tell me those don't look like real burgers, to the most part at least. Before, after. 
before. Oh my God. After. Yeah, I agree with Carl. Oh my God, I can't wait to eat. <laughs> and there we go. There's the finished product of the burgers. We're going to stack these onto some buns with some veggies and make it like a burger with some cheese and everything. But check those guys out. That is not too shabby at all. They're about, oh, I'd say about a quarter inch thick and looking lovely. If I had just happened upon this, honestly, I don't know if I'd be able to tell. My kids sure cannot tell that they're not meat, but that's okay. They'll, it, um, it's a different texture when you're eating it. Um, not a bad one. It just doesn't cry or it doesn't have the same squishiness, I'll say, as beef does. But it is definitely a close second and very palatable. And so, there's the finished product. I melted some cheese on it. I could have used regular cheese, but I used processed cheese to make it a little bit meltier. Um, I'll suck that one up. I would normally use the regular cheddar, but it's okay for tonight. And then I stacked it with some lettuce and tomatoes. There's some ketchup underneath. I'm going to reserve the relish <laughs> for another time. See the incident yesterday. <laughs> so, yes. And there's the rest of them. They look fantastic. I'm going to plate my children up. Uh, we're just waiting on some french fries. I'm not going to partake with the french fries because I know what I got after dinner. So the burger is good enough for me for tonight. And then I'm going to get on my air glider. So, but first, a burger. Let me have at this. <laughs> Okay, greatest taste testers of all times, I want you <laughs> I want you guys to taste test my burgers and give me your honest opinion on them. And three, two, one, go! I can't my so much for praying before we eat, huh? <laughs> it's good? Mm -hmm. Carl? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Excellent, but okay. Is it a bad texture or anything like that? Oh, yeah. no. It's awesome. It's How awesome. Excellent. You heard it. Paris, your honest review on the burgers. Perfect. Excellent. Were they ital? <laughs> Excellent. I don't get no thumbs up. I do burgers. Okay. Good. <laughs> Excellent. Now I feel better. So there you have it. It tastes great. It was amazing. The burger was absolutely amazing. The only thing that stopped me from eating my burger was, well, the kids asking me questions and getting them vexed. <laughs> so, well, in my, in defense of them and, well, incorporating that into my diet, at least it got me to eat slower because I was going to, like, hoover that thing in. <laughs> Anyways, on to, well, no, I'm just going to give it the proper introduction that it deserves. a bloody cheesecake I'm waiting for it it's still not the perfect one but that's okay this one is at least satiatable if that's even a word and then I'm gonna go bust my butt on my air glider so on that note pardon the pun <laughs> I hope everybody had a great evening I hope that the recipe comes in handy and until Monday take care and have a great weekend bye guys